So hello, everybody out there. This is Jeff with RV Optimizer. And today we've got a little different spin I want to share with you. And I would like to welcome Patrick Buchanan from RV Life. Well, thank you, Jeff. It's uh, it's great to be here, matter of fact. Yeah. So, um, Patrick, we're going to jump into and try to help with the audience here a little bit about what RV Life does for, I guess, the common RVer, why they would want to use your product. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to dive into and have you share with us a little bit about how the product works and some of the key features in that. And then lastly, we'll end on maybe if there's any misconceptions that you hear about that we want to take the time and uh, and answer those or set people straight on those. So hopefully that makes sense. But that's uh, that's our goal here to accomplish here in the next few minutes. And before we get started in that first question, I wanted just to remind all of our viewers that Patrick was nice enough to offer any of you guys that would like to take advantage of joining the RV Life program. I'm going to put the link in my description section there. Um, click on that if you want. You'll get to dive into the system and learn about the discounts that are waiting for you. So I want to thank you, Patrick, on behalf of our viewers to offer that out to everybody. So with that Absolutely. said, um, Patrick, help me the audience understand a little bit about what the heck is RV life and why should we even care about it? Well, you know, and it's, it's a, it's a great question. And I spent uh, the, the good part of last week at the uh, Tampa, the Florida RV super show answering the very same question. Okay. And um, you know, RV life pro, as we call it is um, a combination of software tools um, to help you plan an RV trip that is RV safe and brings together all of the components you need for a trip. Um, I always uh, often start out real quick by saying, look, there's two things Google doesn't know about you, only two, mind you, but there's two things. Uh, and that is they don't really know how fast you're traveling when you travel with your RV and they don't know um, the size of your RV. And so Without that information, you can, you'll can you plan a trip and you'll end up not where you're expected to be uh, and potentially on, on an unsafe road. Um, and, and that's just a part of it. You know, when uh, everybody can, uh, a lot of RVers will grab an RV safe GPS or they'll grab an app and say, hey, this is an RV safe app. And, and, and those are great, ours, ours is great in that respect as well. But even the smallest trip, can and should be planned in depth to eliminate a host of other uh, problems that RVers run into, uh, particularly new RVers uh, run into this thing called fuel anxiety. And they simply don't know where they're going to get fuel next and if they can fit there when they get there. Uh, and so our product really solves those problems. Okay. No, that sounds good. That sounds good. And uh, I know a little bit about it since I've been in it already. Um, and I know that there are a lot of different filters and ways you can set it up based on your likes and so forth. So would you mind flipping um, the, the screen for us here and maybe take us through what you think some of the key benefits are um, in the application itself? Absolutely. Okay, so this is an interesting uh, one I've, I've put together and utilized uh, fairly frequently with different demos and, and whatnot. And as you can see, as, as its title indicates, it's Mount Rushmore Devil's Tower Complete. Of course, the word complete's a bit of a misnomer because I've hacked this trip apart a bunch of times. And uh, it is now, uh, uh, there we go, a little bit of a refresh. So this this actually is, is my complete trip there. I just needed a quick refresh. So what I've done with this, and I, I'm going to show you probably the number one benefit here in just a moment, but I've done is created a, co a comprehensive trip from uh, around Daytona Beach all the way up to Mount Rushmore and all along the way. And you may not be able to see all the different icons, but I've got rest stop icons, lunch, I, you know, lunch stops, fuel stops, campgrounds. I've taken and dissected each day of my trip and built a complete trip that includes all the fuel stops and everything I need. Um, so this is just a quick glance, but what I wanna show you is what I really consider the most important part of the, of the tool, at least to get you started. And that is what we call our driving radius. Um, I mentioned earlier that one of the things that, um, Google doesn't know about you is how far you're going to drive. And I, I learned this the hard way. 
um, driving a rented 36 foot gas RV from Flagstaff to Amarillo, which we now know is nine hours behind the wheel of a gas motor home. Um, it should have been six hours according to Google. And of course we know what happened there, don't we? It, it was just, you're just not going as fast as, as the map would indicate you would be going. It doesn't take into account the stops. Uh, it's just not like hopping in a Camry and, and hitting the road for six hours. It's a, it's a beat down. And this was sort of my introduction into the real world of RVing. So what we've got here is this driving radius. And this is essentially the, the number one idea behind this is that you're gonna tell us how far you like to drive. And if we look at my settings real briefly, we can see that I'm choosing an average speed of 60 miles an hour. Now, uh, I tell folks, you know, this is an overall day long average, including stops. But I tell folks, if you're traveling with pets or kids, you wanna skew that lower. Um, 60 is about right for a pair of adults, you know, that are just making time. Um, and I wanna only drive, I'm showing here that I only wanna drive four hours a day. I'm driving a 43 foot diesel motor home, pulling a Jeep, and I just, you know, at this point in our lives, we just don't want to be on the road the entire day. Um, so the idea behind this then is how in the heck do I know when I leave Daytona, Florida, where I'm really going to be at this predetermined period that I've chosen? It's just not easy to do with something like Google. And then on top of that, how can I ensure that I've got an RV safe route. And I can ensure the latter, if we go back to our settings, we can see that I've got my RV's dimensions in here, 12 foot seven, 43 feet, 36,500 pounds. I do not carry propane, I'm all electric, but that's a factor when you're dealing with tunnels and whatnot. And so with that information, I can see that I'm leaving Daytona and in my, what I determined was the appropriate driving uh, length for me, I can see where my driving day is gonna end somewhere around here, around Tifton. And if I turn on all these campgrounds, you can see I've got a variety of campgrounds to choose from, and this is the one I've chosen. And just so real, real quickly to kind of close the loop on that, when I look at my next, say this campground here, when I leave Lookout Mountain, Chattanooga, West KOA, where am I gonna be that day after four hours of driving at the average of, and I'll turn off campgrounds here, at my average of 60 miles an hour, I just have no way to know that. Trip Wizard knows that. And it shows me, yep, here's the end of my day. And so that's a campground I wanna stay in at the end of that day. And between that and creating that RV safe route for me, I can get behind the wheel and know that each day's final destination is very attainable within the parameters that I've chosen. All the good stuff that we, that we can do in addition to that is just icing on the cake. I can choose my rest areas. I can add my fuel. I actually know because we're, you're telling Trip Wizard or RV Life Pro, as we say, you're telling us exactly how much fuel you're carrying. Uh, and I've actually got a hundred gallons, but uh, fuel, the amount of reserve, if you have a motor home, you wanna leave some reserve and the miles per gallon, will actually show you exactly where you're gonna need fuel each time. You sort of fill that virtual fuel tank and we'll continue to show you where you need fuel throughout your journey. You're gonna to get tools like elevation, grade, satellite view, street view, a whole host of tools to determine, you know, here's a rest area that I've chosen, but you know, how do I know what kind of rest area that is? Is it a small one? Is it a large one? Uh, does there, is there grass to take the dogs out on? You know, if I don't know, I can go ahead and go to satellite view and scope that out. And we can see that looks like a pretty fairly sized rest area that I'm reasonably happy with. Um, I can see that that's what I want to stay in. And if it's not, I, I can I know before I ever leave the driveway, I know to choose a different rest stop. And uh, just like Google Street View might have, we have the same thing. And we actually call on Google Street View, but we can drag this little 
road icon here out onto the road. Let's see if I have the dexterity to pull that off right now. <laughs> and that should jump to a street view. Of course, I dropped it on a freeway. I, I'm exactly where I expected. Um, typically, I can use this for, um, I'll use it real often to see what a what an egress into a fuel station or a campground I've never been to before. Maybe a, I'm looking for a marker, like I know I need to turn right at such and such a road. And I might want a visual marker in the back of my head uh, to remember that by. Um, I I can and have gone on literally for hours uh, talking about all of the in-depth features here. Um, but that's the that's the the highlight. That's the bullet points. Uh, the one other important fact, and, and then I'll, I'll I'll throw it back at you, Jeff, is that um, because we own. Uh, the legendary site called Campground Reviews. It's actually RV Life Campgrounds now, but it's campgroundreviews.com. Uh, old timers might remember it as RV Park Reviews. That site's been around 20 years or better. Um, this site, that site is our repository for data, which means we have virtually every single campground that exists simply by nature of it being a neutral public site where anyone and everyone can add those campgrounds uh, to that site. Yeah, that's very cool, Patrick. So just to clarify too, because I, I know you, you talked about some of the, the personal settings you can set up and that's really only a, a, a I think a one-time thing, right? You set up all your, your, your preferences on your vehicle and your driving distance and all those things you mentioned, and then mm -hmm. those follow you wherever, whatever trip you're going to plot out. But one of the things I thought was pretty cool is that if I only want to stay in four stars or better type of campgrounds, that's another filter I can choose. And based on what you just said, how do those um, reviews, are, are those constantly being updated by, by, by users? Uh, and that's where you're pulling that data in? Yes, absolutely. And, and the best part about it is we, uh, campground owners uh, are not even allowed to review their own properties and, you know, say, hey, there's the greatest campground in the world, four stars, you know, five stars and, you know, all that. Uh, this data is essentially live. If I were to click on this campground, for example, you can see it's got a rating of 8.8 .8, or if we go to the stars, it's over four stars. If I go to my details here, I can go to reviews and you can see these are the most current reviews. Here's one from January, 2023. These are always the first handful of reviews here. And if I were to click on read more reviews, no surprise, it would take me directly to campground reviews. So these are all user driven reviews. In other words, it's our customers and, and real campers that are providing those reviews. Very often they're the same ones providing these pictures. Obviously, we give campground owners uh, the opportunity to put those in. But, uh, our members are fantastic at taking great pictures and uploading them with their reviews. And, um, and yeah, so that is always essentially live, uh, real time. Yeah, I like that. And to me, that's peace of mind, because to your point earlier, especially when you had it on the map, there are so many places that are called RV parks or resorts or, you know, campgrounds. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know I would define them all in the same way when I get to some of those. So, you know, be able to look at those ahead of time, understand what other people thought about staying there and keeping it all within one program. I mean, it just, gosh, it makes a lot of sense and it sure makes things easier, I think. It really does. And and you find that, you know, we all started out with the big, thick campground books. And then we have the Rand McNally Truckers Atlas. And then we had the next exit. We had all these variety of tools at our fingertips. And as everything began to digitize, um, it, we started narrowing the field a little bit more. And, and we rolled in virtually every one of those features. Uh, into the Trip Wizard front end here. Um, and, and RV Life Pro, you know, we use the terms kind of synonymously, RV Life Pro, RV Trip Wizard. What RV Life Pro simply means is that you not only get the RV Trip Wizard, which is essentially the legendary here, but we've also included now uh, the mobile app, which is called the RV Life uh, GPS and Campgrounds app, or we just, we just call it the RV Life app. Um, but that RV Life app, once you log in, will actually already have this Mount Rushmore Devil's Tower complete trip on the phone. 
I can actually tap on it and use it for navigation directly from the mobile device, from the phone. Um, so it's uh, it's essentially an RV GPS uh, in addition to the great planner that we're we're kind of demonstrating here. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you because I know we're on our laptops to, right now, but this information is accessible from the app from an iPad, from your iPhone, I'm assuming from uh, other similar devices uh, the, other than Apple products. It is, and um, and it is also probably you know one of the more confusing parts uh, about what we do here, and it's it's been a journey to to clarify that. Um, you know the vernacular of computers, of computer pro uh, products and software has changed so much. You know we always thought uh, we always said we had a computer program, and then mobile devices came out. Now we had apps. And we kind of lost, uh, blurred the lines between what's an app, what's a program, what's what. So to, to hopefully to clarify that, the RV Life Trip Wizard, which is that planning tool, is available on any device that has a web browser. So we can be a laptop, a computer, I mean, a desktop, a tablet, an Android tablet, iPhone, uh, iPad, you know, uh, even your mobile phone, if you're so inclined to do this trip planning on the browser, of your mobile phone, you can certainly do that. Um, when it comes to the app, you know, with uh, air quotes, right? The app that, of course, is only available, like all other apps, only available from the App Store, and, uh, and you're going to find that in the uh, Apple and Android app stores. And again, that speaks primarily to that navigation portion um, of the product. Uh, the the unicorn in all this is of course something like the iPad. Um, an iPad with its own cellular data signal, uh, you know, with own cell plan, data plan, can actually become not only the tool that you craft your trip in with the browser, but you can fire up the mobile app and use it for navigation as well. So um, the distinction there is that, you know, that's, that, that iPad has to have its own cell cellular data plan to use it for navigation so that it has the proper GPS chip. Yeah, absolutely. No, and that makes that makes perfect sense. Um, I was actually thinking about getting one of those little stands to plop my iPad up front and uh, to have that up there as well in the front of the cab. But uh, this is really helpful. I know it's brief, uh, but I think there's a lot of things in here um, and not to be overwhelming, but um, don't you have, Patrick, I think within the app, little tutorials that help walk people through how to kind of initially get started with RV Pro? Or we do. What, what I really try to get folks to do um, is, and I mean really, I, I really think it's vital that they do this I, uh, before they do anything, is from within the within the tool here, I, ideally, if you can get to our YouTube channel and do that beforehand, uh, that's even better. But once you get in here, if you'll click on your little name, your little uh, uh, icon avatar up here at the top, and if you'll go to help, what I'd love for you to do is ignore this video tab because it's not where I want you to go. If you guys can go to this video support uh, button, this will take you directly to our YouTube channel where you're going to see our product training video series. It's about eight or 10 videos um, that are short and succinct that we've put together that are vital to understanding uh, the nuances and the power of this tool. Yeah. Uh, it can yeah. be, you know, it can be overwhelming, uh, but, but at the same time, you know, I've, I've, I've been, uh, blown away and, and and frankly put to shame by 93 year old ladies that uh were solo traveling in their class a and they said well here let me show you how we do it and they were just you know they were uh they were bonkers as how how well they could use it and then i've seen software professionals kind of look at me and go yeah i don't i don't get it so yeah. Well, what I learned when I started getting the tool, thinking that just like anything else you buy, you start to operate it before you read the instructions, right? Um, um, and I realized there was a few things, some of the what I call the basics of getting your trip started. And once you learn what you should do to get started, everything else kind of comes together fairly well for you. It's just so I would recommend going to that video and watch how to get to, you know those initial starting points of your trip and getting that happening. And after you've got your profile in there, 
Um, I think the rest of it kind of, you know, comes along pretty well. So thank you for sharing that. And, and before we uh, end this, Patrick, anything that you would share with the listeners around the lines of maybe any misconceptions? People come to the product or, or start to look at it and then they maybe shy away from it for any particular reason or or I don't know, you probably have heard a number of those type of things, I'm assuming. Is it an app? Is it a browser? Is it what, what is it? You know, um, that is always a source of confusion for people. Veteran RVers, folks with big class A's and fifth wheels and big travel trailers, they know right away they need something, right? That there's a, a lot of new RVers maybe take a trip or two before they realize well, we had to pull off the freeway and stop at six gas stations before we found one we could fit in. Mm. Um, they don't realize there's a better way to do that. Um, we tried to book a campground and we couldn't get into any campgrounds because they, they you know, uh, one of the most common, <laughs> I see it all the time on, on, a, on a Facebook group of some kind is, hey, uh, where's everybody stay when they go to the Mount Rushmore? And you go, the top three campgrounds that everybody uh, says pop up. And there's like 60 campgrounds in that area that are great and nobody hears about them because they're looking on, you know, they're, they're trying to Google something or they're asking a Facebook page and they don't realize the depth and the breadth of, of the amount of data that's out there and how you can really, you mentioned the filters earlier, customizing the type of experience they wanna have. Not everybody is suited for that class a you know motorhomes only four-star lifestyle uh and in in the inverse you don't want to pull in with your prevo at a little a little place because you thought it was the only thing available right it's so the the amount of data and and, and helping people understand they need the, the planning tools they need to um understand what they're going to be you know, the challenges the the fuel anxiety for rvers is real um and and particularly those with gasoline tr versus diesel gasoline trucks or motorhomes they have the worst of it us diesel folks just go into the trucker lanes and we don't worry about it but but those those gas folks really have it tough and i mean i've i've watched i've explained this to folks and watched their faces just in awe kind of a, a combination of awe and relief when they realize there's actually a better way than pulling off the road when they start getting half a tank and getting panicky, you know, the drive is supposed to be part of the journey and the adventure. And if you spend half of that day worrying about fuel, it's not enjoyable. And I, I would say most RVers, if they're not experienced enough yet, they simply don't know they need all of this help. Eventually they get it, they go through the painful and the growing process. Um, for what this tool costs, I mean, it shouldn't even be a question for anybody. It's it just makes so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. And I think all those are great points. And I would I would say just like anything else that's new or at least new to us um, to try it, to give it a, a, a couple times um, where you plot a few trips in it, see how it works for you how it fills these voids in what we're doing today and not even knowing we're just working around those things um, and how the system will help you tell you and take the surprises out of your trip and which i to me appreciate the most because you know where you're going to end up you know what it's going to look like when you get there and you know what to expect and uh there's nobody wants i think big surprises when you're heading out on your uh, on your next vacation or your next long rv trip or even your short trips it, it helps obviously with those as well so my my two cents would be to try it out um, and uh, see what it does for you. And if it does help you in some of those things that are a void, at least it was for us as well here. So with that, I think we'll uh, wrap this up, Patrick. And I'll just remind folks one more time that if you haven't, uh, please look in the description section. There's a link there. Take you into the RV Life system. It um, so take advantage of that if you think this is, to Patrick's point, this is not an expensive program whatsoever. Um, and uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised when you get in there and check that out. So with that said, uh, Patrick, thanks for joining uh, the channel today. Uh, listeners, thank you. And until next time, uh, happy trails for everybody. Thanks, Jeff. Been a pleasure.